The hippo's calm is disturbed by the violent arrival of the croc's latest victim. For this one, there will be no lucky escape. The baby hippo is already wedged deep among crocs, close to the impala carcass and the biggest crocs in the pool. The mother then does a strange thing. Rousing herself to investigate the scene, she pushes her baby almost only takes a terrible risk to get it. But the baboons can see that another croc has her baby. The croc will lose its prize to the others, unless it leaves the pool. But when it does, a big baboon is waiting. The croc cuts the baby. But the brave rescue is too late. reach new levels of aggression among themselves. Even mothers with small babies do not escape the brutal bullying. Baboons still dominate the pits, but a female in Yaga driven by thirst is ready to fight for a drink. Each day now, a few baboons appear with blood on their hands. Their victims are in pallet forms. Some are orphans of the drought, others only temporarily lost and alone. Trusting and totally defensive. The hungry warthog roots around for choice pieces of rotting catfish. While a poodle, heedless of the crops, drinks the mud. keep his kill to himself for long. Yet the contest seems to be as much about male dominance as ownership of the carcass. Meanwhile, the warthog sees a good opportunity. He's a little slow and no match for an actual baboon. As their pool dies around them, the hippos and crocs lie marooned in the mud like creatures made of clay, half formed and waiting for their creator to compete. A baboon risks all on a thin crust of mud as she searches for puddles on the surface. While all around her lie more than a hundred crocodiles, indistinguishable from the mud. The 
mother is brave, but the life and death struggle is between these two. If baboons have nightmares, this is surely one of them. Torn between terror and wanting to help, the mother is unable to rally any support. with muddy legs, a sore face, and possibly a haunting memory. <laughs>